Hi, my name is Paulina. Welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. So today I have um, another blind by Perfume haul uh, to show you. Uh, this time, uh, it's not inspired by any particular YouTuber. It's just a bunch of perfumes I actually wanted to try or someone recommended them to me or there's like so much hype around them that I kind of needed to try. Uh, there are some flankers, uh, there are some like original perfumes, uh, there is one celebrity perfume and I'm actually quite surprised I uh, bought it because I usually don't buy celebrity ones but um, yeah we'll see. Uh, so um, before we start just please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that yet and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our content. So I'm going to start with the one that I didn't really expect to buy until I did. Uh, so this is Ariana Grande Cloud uh, and uh, the packaging looks like this and it kind of looks worse inside because I've seen that before. Uh, anyway, uh, this fragrance was actually recommended by so many people who don't usually buy um, celebrity fragrances that I just decided I need to try. So it looks like this inside. It's like, um... oh, you can get rid of that. That's good. That's so good. I mean, I hate this uh, cloudy thing. Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> anyway, um... Many people say this reminds them of Baccarat Rouge. Um, I'm really, really curious. Uh, I mean, I'm not a massive fan of Baccarat Rouge. I like this fragrance. I prefer the dry down to uh, today opening. So yeah, let's just um, let's try. Okay, so the opening is definitely a lot like Baccarat Rouge. I mean. As far as I remember, back at Rouge, well, this one is almost identical. It's you have this like whipped cream, um, um, coconut, I think pear, but like whipped cream is very dominant here. So if you just love that type of grimandy fragrances, then this is actually quite. Um, I mean, you're gonna like that one. The dry down um, is a little bit different. I mean, it smells a little bit like back at Rouge after like five or six hours mm, uh, there's like one step missing I would say here but yeah if you love Baccarat Rouge then this is a nice um, alternative it's much cheaper obviously but uh, yeah you can even consider buying this uh, as a like everyday fragrance and use Baccarat Rouge only on special occasions I don't know so yeah I was quite um, hesitant uh, while buying this uh, my only consolation was that that it's quite cheap uh, but yeah it's not bad it uh, it doesn't smell like it doesn't smell cheap it smells cheaper than Baccarat Rouge it just lacks its depth but um, yeah it's it's not bad and I'm so glad that you can actually remove this cloudy thing because it's really tacky but yeah if you just, um, you know, the bottle like that looks all right and it smells okay too. So yeah, so let's just do one of the flankers now. Uh, so the first one is going to be Black Opium uh, on Tons. And um, as much as I'm not a like, massive fan of the original uh, version, and mostly because like everybody uses this, uh, so it's just like too generic at the moment. Uh, and also, um, for some reason it just doesn't really smell that nice on me this one uh, sounds interesting because um, on top of the coffee uh, theme it has some absinthe in it so I'm really curious I was I was really curious just looking at the um, um, notes uh, list and yeah the bottle looks like this it's blue let's just have a sniff okay I spread a little bit of that on my hand so hopefully I like it uh, so, um, okay, so you can still say, you can still tell that this is a black opium because you have um, that DNA um, with coffee and vanilla and some fruitiness on top of that, but it's a little bit different too. I mean, it has it's like this green freshness to it. Yeah, it's not that obviously fruity as the, the original version. And I can smell absinthe. Yeah, that's quite cool. 
I mean, I'm really curious if this one will work better with my skin than the original one. Uh, I can't wait to try. I'm actually use that uh, after um, after I finish with everything. But yeah, I have really high hopes uh, towards this one. So yeah, don't disappoint me. <laughs> So now let's just do something completely different. This is Guerlain uh, Insolence um, uh, perfume. This is Eau de Toilette because uh, I wasn't really sure um, if I'm going to like it. So I just had to go for something lighter uh, first. Um, so this is mostly violet. I do like violet fragrance, uh, but I'm just really not sure if it's going to work well with my skin. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's try. So, okay, so the bottle looks like this. Uh, it's really pretty, actually. It's very fairy tale like uh, So I'm going to try this first on a blotter because, you know, uh, I don't really want to be stuck with something I don't like on my skin uh, the whole day. Uh, yeah, let's give it a go. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is, this is pretty much Parma Violet. Um, yeah, I mean, violet and some uh, powderiness, so I'm guessing iris, maybe some other floral, floral uh, notes too, but uh, this is Parma Violet. I mean, if you love the candies, then uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to like this one. I'm not really sure. I need to try this on my skin. It might be a little bit too intense for me, uh, too sweet. In that kind of sweetness that I might not be able to stand for like a longer uh, period of time but I'm not I'm not sure I mean I was surprised um, quite many times uh, so far and the fragrances that seemed uh, too intense they just turned out to be my favorite so I don't know I'm going to give it a go so another flunker a good girl by Karina Herrera and this is the Leger version uh, so I just love the original one I love it this is one of my favorite uh, nighttime or like date uh, fragrances uh, this one um, is a bit different you can see the the bottom of the shoe is different and the only reason i bought it is just i love the original version so i want to try this one too oh my god this is lovely this is like white floral notes and some citrusiness to it uh, but like a ni nice citrusy uh, vibe like you know like a mandarin or something like that oh this is so nice and it's sweet but like it's nothing overpowering nothing too much mm. it's like praline and tonka beans and um something creamy like i don't know i would say like caramel maybe i don't know but this is this is really nice this is super sexy light sweet but like it's perfect fragrance for like spring and summer amazing i mean i love that one so this one is my favorite so far i really want to uh, compare it now to the original version and decide which one i prefer uh they're a bit different though i mean um kind of i'm kind of curious how it how how it will work on my skin but yeah this is just yeah, it's just amazing. And the last one in the set is Angel Muse. Uh, and again, I'm not a massive fan of uh, Mugler fragrances, uh, but this one was described in such a nice way that I was like, mm, I'm going to try it. Uh, another one that I'm not really sure if it was a good decision, but so far, so far everything I bought uh, in my blind buys was actually okay, at least okay. I mean, I loved some of them, some of them were just okay, but it's still good, you know. Um, I didn't buy anything that was disgusting or just didn't work with my skin completely. Uh, so um, this one looks like this, so the bottle is quite interesting. I mean, I think all the uh, Mugler bottles are actually quite nice. Uh, so yeah, I can't, can't wait to try the last one now. Let's hope it's not too similar to the original Angel uh, uh, perfume. I mean, I do have the Eau de Toilette, uh, Angel Eau de Toilette, and I just love it. So, I mean, I'm quite more open uh, to um, regular fragrances these days, but let's just check this one. Okay, it's, it's, it's nice. Um, it's a Nutella. <laughs> it's very gourmet. It's Nutella, but also I can actually 
smell some uh, fruity um, fruitiness in here, like orange and something else. I'm not really sure what though. Passion fruit, maybe? Something very juicy. Yeah. But yeah, that Nutella vibe is there, definitely. Yeah, it's it's actually not bad. Um, I'm not really sure if it's going to be uh, one of my favorites, but um, yeah, I've been surprised so many times recently that um, I can't really say no for sure. So, do you know what? This is this is going to be the one I'm going to spray uh, myself with, so I can just decide if I like it or not. <laughs> So there you go, these are my five recent blind buys. Um, what can I tell you? I mean, I love this one. This is amazing. Uh, this one smells really good too. I'm just uh, really curious how it will work with my skin. Uh, this is my only concern because, you know, I have like bad experience with um, the original one. Um, this one, um, I'm quite surprised, it's not bad, it's really similar to Baccarat Rouge, um, you know, and since I'm not much of a fan of Baccarat Rouge, I'll probably use it every now and again. And I'm really glad I could get rid of this uh, cloudy uh, thing uh, from the bottom, it just makes it look so much better without it. Uh, I'm not really sure about this one. Uh, it smells lovely, um, but I'm not really sure if I'll be able to... Um, survive that much of a violet on my skin uh, throughout the day uh, this is only 30 ml so i'll probably try it i'll probably test it on my skin we'll see um, you know you never know and uh, the angel muse that's actually quite nice i mean i think i'm going to i think we're going to be friends so uh yeah this smells like really really delicious but it's not as overpowering as the um you know the star angel perfume the original one um yeah it's really nice thank you guys for watching if you like this video please hit the like button down below and please remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that yet uh, also check out our instagram channel for like more exciting content there um and yeah that's everything for today see you soon